What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today is going to be very very interesting because in today's video we're going to be doing 8 things you didn't know about beds in Minecraft. So you guys seem to love the video I did about uh, painting, so it was 10 things you didn't know about paintings. You guys seem to love that, so that's why I'm going to be doing beds this time, but not actually 10, um, just because there wasn't a lot of ideas um, with the beds, but... There is some pretty cool things that you maybe didn't even know about, or maybe you did know some of these that I'm going to be listing in this video. So if you did know, then that's cool, okay? <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, slap a like. Let's see if we can get like one like, okay? I just want one like. And uh, also, if you haven't turned on notifications, go ahead and do so right now. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Alright guys, so for the first one, basically, you just get someone to uh, kind of just sleep in the bed. So right here, I'm actually on my other device, so it just says Fusion. But the thing is, maybe you didn't know about this, but it's actually quite interesting. So if someone's sleeping in the bed, if you go ahead and actually teleport them to you, so just like that, basically, <laughs> they're just going to be still like laying down, except they're not going to be in the bed. So it just looks so weird. Like, they just look completely flat on the ground, and, um, you know, they can eventually, you know, just wake up just like that, and they're just actually going to teleport back to the bed. So let's do that one more time. So there we go, and I'm actually going to teleport it, uh, maybe like right here, so just like that. So anywhere you are located and you teleport the player, basically it's just going to be lying flat. So the thing is, on their end, if they leave the bed, check this out they basically go right where they were before. So that is actually quite interesting. All right, guys, so for the second one, as you can see, we are in the Never, and we just, you know, place the bed right here. And I'm pretty sure like 99% of you guys know about this, but this is just in case that 1% person doesn't know about this because they only just started playing Minecraft. But basically, if you place a bed in the Never and you try and sleep on it, then basically it's just going to explode. It just it acts like TNT in a way, which is very, very cool. So, like I said, I think like the majority of you guys know about that. But just in case you didn't, that is just, you know, one of the you know, cool things you can do in Minecraft. Alright guys, so for this next one, basically it works exactly the same as the, uh, you know, the Never, except this time we're actually in the end. So like I said, once again, maybe you actually knew about this, but for this, you know, for the people that didn't, uh, basically, you know, it works exactly the same. It's gonna explode if you try and sleep in it, even if you're in the end or the Never, it works exactly the same, which is actually still pretty cool, because it's like a good way to troll your friend if they only just started playing Minecraft. Like, imagine your friend, your best friend, you're just like, hey, uh, have you heard of the game called Minecraft? And maybe they're just like, no. Now, that might not be uh, a great example, because a lot of people know about Minecraft, but say your friend is just clueless to games, and uh, they knew nothing about Minecraft, you could use that as a troll, which would be kind of funny. You just take them to the end or the never, and say, hey, let's, uh, you know, kind of sleep in this place, and then they're just going to explode, they're going to be like confused of what's happening. Alright guys, so for this next one, it only works on a very old version of Minecraft. If you try this on the new versions, then it's just not going to work. So, I built this little thing right here, and we're just going to kind of place the bed just like that, and then remove the blocks. We just want the bed kind of just floating mid-air. So as you can see from here, basically, you know, the bed is obviously right there, but you can also see the legs, so you know, the four legs, but... If we go directly under it, it actually just disappears and it just blends in and you just can't see it anymore unless you just kind of go a little bit out and then you can see the legs. But if you move back in, then they just disappear. Now, like I said, if you try this on a new version, you will actually see the legs. But in an old version, you just couldn't. Alright guys, so for this next one, as you can see, we have our bed right here. I'm just going to place another one just because why not? So it's night time, and uh, all you have to do is uh, open up your inventory at the same time when trying to sleep. So just like this, and as you can see, your player model will actually be a little bit weird. And um, as you can see, it's now, you know, back to normal because I'm out of the bed. So let's try it again. So time set night, so we can actually enter the bed. So open up your inventory, and as you can see, this is very, very weird. Let's just leave the bed. Um, so, oh, okay, it's actually a little bit hard to do. You have to, like, time it pretty much. So, um, you know, open up your inventory just like that, and your player model is just going to be all weird. So uh, that's something as well that you can do in Minecraft with these beds. So in Minecraft, a bed will not actually naturally spawn anywhere, but 
in the igloo. So as you can see, I just found a naturally spawned igloo and there is a bed right here. You're not going to be able to see a bed just spawn randomly. Like it doesn't spawn in the villages. It doesn't spawn anywhere else except for an igloo. And I'm pretty sure you guys knew that, but I'm just going to add it into this video because I thought it was, you know, quite interesting that you know, they just added a bed with this igloo. It's still pretty cool. I like the structure. Very, very nice. Now let's move over to the next one. So what we're going to do for this next one is basically place um, a bed and uh, we're just going to put some ice underneath it. So uh, this is actually really cool. And uh, the thing is, it also works on slabs. Um, I believe carpet as well. And uh, let me just quickly just, you know, get a few more blocks around here of ice so it just looks much better. So let me just remove all these blocks. There we go. Place them down just like that. And you'll see what is about to happen. And uh, maybe you actually knew that beds can actually do this as well as, you know, the slabs and stuff. But pretty much I'm just going to go into F5. And uh, if I kind of just, you know, sprint at the bed um, and just go over it, as you can see, uh, I mean, <laughs> that didn't really work, but <laughs> uh, basically you will slide as well. As you can see, I'm kind of sliding right there, and um, it acts as if it's like ice as well. So, um, oh, there we go. As you can see, a little bit of a slide there. Oh, still sliding. Okay, there we go. As you can see, look at that. You just kind of slide around as if there was ice. So, of course, this actually works on slabs as well. So, as you can see, I'm, you know kind of just going around. Now, if the bed wasn't on this ice, as you can see, it doesn't do that. So for the lucky last one, this one is actually one of the best and uh, is actually very interesting as well. And I'm pretty sure not everyone is going to know about this, but uh, back in 1.3, I believe, in the beta, um, they were going to be adding this thing called the Crying Obsidian. So Crying Obsidian's original uh, intended use was to set spawn points at, you know, the given place that, you know, you kind of place the block at. But they actually scrapped that idea and, uh, you know, introduced beds. So that's how you set your spawn points. If you didn't know that, you know, you sleep in a bed and, you know, if you die, then of course you're going to spawn right there. But back in the day, they were actually going to be just, you know, having this thing called Crying Obsidian, and it just sounds so weird, but I'm glad they replaced that and, you know, scrapped that and added, you know, just beds into Minecraft. So I think that was actually very, very interesting. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap a like on this video and also leave a comment down below if you thought any of these were interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See ya.